a new part of this season of Survivor has finally started with the merge. I always love it when this uh, part of the season comes around. It's always exciting. Um, so I'm pretty excited at what's ahead. Though I think I have uh, a clear idea of what's going to happen, but I'll get to that later. Um, so let's start from the beginning, Redemption Island. Uh, we already knew from the last episode that the winner of this challenge was going to get back into the game, and the two others were going to be out. Um, so I was kind of on the fence on whether I wanted John or Laura M to go back in. I think John would have been an easy add-on to the um, No Loved Ones Alliance, whereas Laura M, as Sierra pointed out, may have been a little trickier. Uh, but at the end of the day, I thought Laura M deserved to make it back. Um, even though, and I also said this last week, I don't think anyone at this stage of the game on Redemption Island really has any chance to win. Um, so, and I believe that even though Laura M came back in, she's not going to, uh, last all that long, um, in my opinion. Uh, I thought it was a little stupid for Laura to throw the idol into the fire. At this point in the game, it's an individual game. Yes, alliances are important, but she was clearly, I mean, she should have just kept the idol clue or something, but they are pretty paranoid, so I guess it put an, it puts an immediate target on, on your back. So, um, I thought it was dumb, and clearly it didn't affect how anyone voted because they still split their votes when, um, trying to vote out. Laura M versus Sierra, so didn't matter, because uh, somehow they thought people would find the idol without any clues, um, particularly Laura, who would have no access to them, but anyway. So now um, we are merged. There's still, again, I think this is a, the second or third time this has happened. Uh, we don't get to see the naming scene for uh, the merged tribe, which is kind of a bummer. I have some fond memories of... Uh, of new tribes being named. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I said last week, um, the alliances kind of fell the way that I thought. Aris and Vitas thought that the seven were gonna hold, those Galang five plus Vitas plus Katie, uh, and they got too confident. And that's where the problem starts, if you can even say started, started already before. Uh, then we have Sierra, who decided to, Sierra was a big, linchpin in this whole in the whole success story of voting whoever got voted out um because she decided to stick to her alliance with the no loved ones and so she basically controlled laura m's vote uh and that was key for tyson and the loved and the um the non or like the solo tribe i guess uh i think uh i, I wouldn't have been as worried as sierra was like she did a good job at controlling laura and i think that scene saying uh, showing Laura uh, wanting to split the votes, what if Ari says the idol, la 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 la, was just, you know, to prove Sierra's point. Uh, but I think it was pretty obvious that Sierra was going to be able to tell Laura what to do, seeing as Laura was out of the game for so long. Um, I thought, oh my gosh, Tyson, so happy. He is doing as well as I expected. I really think this is his game to lose. Uh, he just played brilliantly with the idol. He grabbed the clue uh, from from the others, not even from a clue, kind of on the DL, sort of like the first day that they had the tribe swaps, uh, and then like lay low. He didn't look for it right away. He waited for the right time, and then boom, the merge happens. He has an opportunity to go look for it. it takes him like, it seems like it took him very little time to do it, to find it, and there he has it. So I think that's brilliant, and I love that he's willing to use it to favor his alliance at the end. I think it's always uh, tricky when you just want to keep it to yourself and you don't think of other ways you could use it. But I also like that he's keeping it to himself for the time being. Um, no one's suspecting him, so there's no reason for him to tell anyone at this point. I think uh, also his patience with Aris. I mean, we knew he wanted to vote Aris out already back on Galang, and he somehow managed to keep Aris quiet, keep him confident, and really waited for the right time to play his move. Um, so I thought that was brilliant. And his uh, reaction with Monica was also great. I mean, come on, how stupid of it was, how stupid was it for Tina to tell Monica, you're number five? I mean, the minute she said that, I paused and turned to my boyfriend and said, 
that's so stupid. Who wants to be number five? Uh, and then we, <laughs> we saw what went down. I think Monica definitely made the right move uh, because at this rate, she's going to make it to the top three, in my opinion. I also think that Tyson dislocating his shoulder early on the season is actually, as we saw with Aris' comic, going to play in his favor, especially for these individual immunity challenges, uh, because people aren't going to perceive him as as big of a threat. Uh, so all in all, I think Tyson is really well set, if he continues to play this well, to win the game. Tyson, Jervis, and I think Monica. Makes a lot of sense in the end. Uh, the challenge I thought was really cool. I like that we can play along as well uh, as viewers, so I thought that was awesome. But having Vetus and Aris at the end really uh, sealed Aris's fate, I think, and sort of proved that they were both really big uh, threats in challenges, both physical and uh, mental. So I think that didn't help Aris on that front. Um, and then for the vote, again, it was perfect for Tyson. It worked out really perfectly. I mean, blindside for Aris, yes, but other than that, uh, Tyson and Jervis really do control the game, Tyson in particular. I think that splitting the votes between Sierra and Laura M really hurt uh, Tina, Katie, Aris, and Vetus, obviously, uh, because there was no reason to. They could have maybe made it through. I mean, they wouldn't have, obviously, because we saw how many votes Aris had, but it was silly to split it. They fragilized um, their vote as it was. And again, Tina's mistake to call Monica number five was just like the worst thing. And I don't think Monica would have flipped otherwise. I think she would have stuck with Tina. So um, I think that from now on, it's pretty obvious that um, Tina, Katie, and Vetus are going to be targeted next. So if Vetus doesn't win, he'll be gone. And then uh, it'll, because obviously they don't want both. Vetus and Aris back in the game because Redemption Island is still in play. So I think they'll want to get rid of at least as you know, as many of they can, as they can of these uh, Biscaugas brothers. Uh, and then Tina and Katie. And then at the end for that seven people alliance, I think Laura, M, and Sierra will be at the bottom of that. Um, although potentially not if Hayden and Caleb prove that there are threats in the individual immunity challenges. But right now Hayden and Caleb have kind of been like we haven't really seen much of them. Uh, but my prediction is it'll be uh, Tyson, Jarvis, and Monica. And that is what I want. And I want Tyson to win. And I will be very happy with that. The thing that I'm not taking into account so much right now is that Redemption Island is still in play. And that kind of worries me. I feel like that really does mess with the game in a whole new way. Like having someone come back at the merge is one thing. It doesn't affect the game too much. Um, and maybe I don't want the game to be affected that much. Like, I, I feel like if Aris makes it back from Redemption Island and then wins and makes it to the end, that could really throw things off. So, uh, but that could make things exciting. Maybe, you know, throw off my predictions, because otherwise I think I'm pretty solid on these. I'm, I'm pretty so sure of myself. Uh, now we saw in the preview that Tina's pretty upset and that she's like basically speaking for everyone when she says that those are five jury votes that they're not getting. Uh, but obviously, you know, she's like, eating sand <laughs> from her mistake and she has to kind of uh, own up to her mistakes too so I think it's unfair for her to say that like boohoo you betrayed me I mean come on like you would have done it in a heartbeat too so uh, that's how I feel about Tina um I guess I should think more about how the jury's gonna vote I think Tyson deserves to win the most but if they think that Tyson spearheaded that whole vote they might either vote for him because uh, they respect his game or they'll blame him for their downfall and not vote for him. But we'll see where it goes. What do you guys think? I'm excited for the rest of the season. We're getting closer to the end and this is like the best part. I don't want it to end just yet. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon.